Adi Nes Shalom and welcome to Culture Bus. Adi, we are sitting here at uh, the Zomer the Gallery in Tel Aviv because this is a very special day. This is the opening of a new, a brand new exhibition by yourself called The Village. I don't believe you need any special introduction. Not in Israel, definitely not abroad. You are probably one of the most famous Israeli photographers. And maybe when I say photographer, I do you some wrong because you are much more than a photographer. All we need to do is to look at, the, at this exhibition and at the previous exhibitions. You are an artist. Yes. So how did it all start? Uh, actually, um, uh, this project uh, started by, uh, from, from, from an atmosphere that I've looked for. Uh, after I showed the biblical stories uh, series, in 2007 at the Tel Aviv Museum of Art, in Jack Shannon Gallery in New York, and Prado Laval Gallery in, uh, in Paris, and many other venues. A wonderful exhibition, if I may say so myself. Thank you. I felt that I have enough from the uh, low life. What I've done uh, there, I took uh, uh, street people, uh, simple uh, uh, people, and I ran out of them as uh, uh, biblical heroes. And uh, I felt I have enough from the low life location, from the materials, and I wanted to go out to the nature, to the, to the field, and to the open, open sky. That's how this uh, project came, came to the world, it came from, uh, from uh, uh, colors and the atmosphere that I wanted to, to, to count. And I thought to create a village, uh, it's not a, it's a picture not in a specific place, but uh, every picture was taken in a different part of, uh, of uh, Israel sometimes, most of the pictures were uh, I thought to create a village which is a metaphor for Israel, a small place like Israel that was built after a tragedy and uh, the fields are green and the trees are fruitful and the people are beautiful but at the same time there is some charged atmosphere uh, under the surface. Uh, the project is based on Greek uh, tragedies and my idea was not to walk like it would have done uh, in the past uh, with the big long stories. They made like an uh, illustration to the, to the protagonist from the Bible. Every picture was connected to a specific uh, uh, story. Here I thought to give the viewer only elements uh, of, of, uh, of a script that every viewer, uh, whenever he came uh, back to the show, can tell himself his own story and a new story. So this project worked like, like in cinema, like, like, like a script that was written to to a film and the pictures are multi-layered as long as they deal with one thing with the Israel today they, they are created like, like a dream uh, all the pictures in the exhibition all the protagonists in the exhibition like in our dreams represent part of myself part of my uh, identity actually all the layers that exist in my art exist in my personality maybe because I'm a man I deal with masculinity in, in my art uh, since I'm an Israeli I deal with Israeliness but at the same time, I'm, I'm gay, so I deal with masculinity and homo to see them spread over the world. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, from a Jewish, uh, uh, I'm Jewish, so I deal with biblical stories, and I'm from a Sephardic, Sephardic uh, background. So in my art, you can see some um, uh, ethnic uh, issues. I'm an artist, so I pay tribute to the history of art, like what I've done in the Last Supper, that they uh, reenact my, my soldiers. And I grown up in the development town, so you can see the periphery in the background of my series. All the layers that exist in my personality exist in, in, my, in my art, but at the same time, when I create a, a new project, I, I start from, from the beginning. I choose myself a framework, something that would be um, that all the pictures would share, and, and then I'm thinking about walking the same decision. And when I started the, the village series, I went back to the to the birth of the tragedy by a book by uh, Nietzsche, and uh, I read there that the art starts from the meeting uh, of opposites, from the meeting between uh, Apollo and uh, Dionysus. Uh, Apollo represents the uh, ideal, the moral, and Dionysus is the subconscious, it's, it's the uh, fears and, and, and passion. And here in this project, I, I to create a dramatic moment, I always confronted. Uh, things from different layers, like what I've done in the soldiers. I 
confronted the uh, daily life of the soldiers with the Last Supper or with the boy series, uh, the Greek heroes with the life of the boys in the public housing blocks, or later in the prisoner series, I, I, I merged between the brand name clothes and, and prisoners, uh, or biblical heroes with uh, street people. And here again, I took, uh, I took the history of art and showed it in a small village. Uh, I, I, I confront uh, open places uh, and the, the closed places, uh, the light and the shadows, uh, the burn and the, and the, and the, and the grass. Uh, uh, old people uh, confront young people. Uh, the atmosphere in the village has changed through the, through the years. The nature has changed and pe people try to fight it, but they can't. It is very apparent for everybody who knows your work, that uh, symbolism is very powerful. And we are sitting here surrounded by 13 beautiful pictures. And I want to ask you about the models, if I can call them models.